Hi, my name is Mark Vickers and I'm the product director for Agenda Plus. And we're excited that you stopped by to take a quick look at a high level demo of the Agenda Plus system. Agenda Plus has been designed from the ground up to provide you the most efficient way to manage your board agendas. This is going to be a very quick demo to give you a bit of an insight. And then we invite you to get in touch with us and book your own private live demo. So let's get right into it. Anytime any user logs into the Agenda Plus system, the first thing they see is the dashboard. This dashboard, particularly for your board assistants, is a great way to keep track of what's happening in your system. Active and available agendas, items waiting for approval, and items finalized. All of that will make much more sense in a few minutes. Now let's start off with some of the most important setup features of Agenda Plus. The first thing we need to do is set up our user community. And within Agenda Plus, we have many different roles for users. And if we come into this user who is labeled Approver 1, we have all the standard system fields of passwords, title, uh, their first and last name, phone number, contact information. The most important part of user setup is this little area over towards the right hand side of the screen. Administrator, that is a system administrator and you will have one of those, maybe two within your district. Approver, these are your board approvers. These are the people that approve items for your agendas. The board assistant, arguably the most important person in the entire process because the board assistant manages this entire agenda process. Board members, those are the people, you know them, they show up your meeting, they expect that agenda to be there, and they expect to be able to view that agenda real time live during the meeting. In addition, they will be able to vote on items using the system while the meeting is going on. Item authors, those are the folks that are actually creating the items for the agenda. Now, based on those roles, we also have the ability to manage approval paths. And these approval paths are unique to your organization. And if we just take a quick look at a complex approval path, for example, a complex approval path might have two levels of approvers. At the first level, you may require approvals from Sam and Mary. And then once they have approved this item, then Tisha needs to approve it. The idea here is that you are in complete control over the approval paths and how your system works. Some boards have just one or two very simple approval paths. Others have a separate approval path for every department or division within their board setup. Again, we will work with you to figure out what is the best way to set up your approval paths. Once we have approval paths set, we set up meeting templates. This is where the bulk of the work in the custom implementation actually occurs. A custom template is set up for each different type of meeting you have. And this will probably look somewhat familiar to you. You've got a call to order. You may have an invocation, the Pledge of Allegiance. And in this agenda, we've got items or categories for recognition, the superintendent's report. We've got uh, all sorts of different items. And if we scroll down, your board probably has a consent agenda. Within your consent agenda, you list all of the different categories that may be included in the consent agenda. The parallel to the consent agenda is the discussion agenda. Now your consent and discussion agenda typically mirror each other. And within Agenda Plus, you have the ability to put an item on the consent agenda, pull that item from consent and move it over onto the discussion agenda. Again, this meeting template is custom designed by you with our assistance when we implement Agenda Plus for your site. Whatever you need on here, whatever you need in a regular meeting is what gets added. Now, in most situations, you will have multiple templates. You might have a template, for example, for a special meeting that only has a limited number of categories. You may have multiple boards that you are running through the single version of Agenda Plus and we have ways to configure all of that information. 
this setup of your template typically happens one time at the start of your using agenda plus but may require minor modifications over time now based on your templates this is where we get to the good stuff we come to meeting agendas and this is where you actually create new meetings we click on new agenda and agenda plus presents us with the basic meeting setup screen we choose the board so we'll use our demo school board for this example we choose a meeting template we'll just choose our standard agile tech meeting template choose the date of the meeting so we'll put this meeting on september 20th at 7 p.m the title of the meeting this could be your standard monthly board meeting you can have an additional description and then we have a variety of fields that are used and these fields show up on the printed or electronic agenda as well as on the minutes of the agenda we're not going to worry about filling any of those in for right now we'll just save this uh, basic meeting agenda once that agenda is created it is now sitting in an active status at this point yourself as an administrator and all of your item authors can start adding items to this agenda we click on view the items we see the structure of the meeting which is all of our categories and at any point we can click on new agenda item when we click on new agenda item it already populates the agenda that this item is being added to we choose the category so maybe this is a consent agenda item choose the subcategory it's human resources and staffing now you'll notice that the approval path has automatically been filled in depending on the structure of your site and what your requirements are you can allow users to override that approval path or you can force them to accept that approval path the great thing about agenda plus is there is so much flexibility built into the system that we can customize the flow of these approval paths to exactly what you need so in this case we'll change it to approval path one we give the agenda item a title um, let's call it pre-approvals for budgets provide a description so this would just be the description of the item you can also enter in any proposed recommendations financial impacts or contact information the top part of the screen we have the option to save this item or submit it let me describe briefly what the difference here is if the item is saved it is not entered into the workflow that means the item author is working on this item maybe they're still gathering information they want to save it but at this point they don't want to actually submit it for approval when it is submitted that's when the item is then dropped into the workflow so we're going to go ahead and click on submit the item is now added to the agenda as pending if we take a look at our agenda we see our pre-approvals for budget and a whole series of icons these icons give you control over what happens next the eyeball is the view option we can view the approval flow so right now this item has just been submitted we click on approval flow and we can see that this item does require an approval from approver three and it's currently waiting for approval well, let's flip over to approver three we have another screen and you'll notice in the top right hand corner this window is logged in as approver three when approver three comes in to look at their approve agenda items tab we see the new item pre-approvals for budgets it's on the standard monthly board meeting and it's currently waiting for approval at this point the approver of the item has multiple choices first of all they probably want to view the item so they can see all of the details including any attachments that may have been added to the item they can also check the approval flow to see who else may need to approve this item and then they have their action items thumbs up to approve it thumbs down to reject it or they can request a revision to the item we'll go on the assumption that this item is approved comments can be added if desired and now when we go back to our agenda and refresh it we can see that that item has turned green and if we look at the approval flow it has now been approved by approver three 
At a high level, that's how the approval process works. Once the board assistant has all of the items required on the agenda, they could preview the agenda, download the agenda for review at an offline meeting, and when they're satisfied, they can finalize the agenda. This locks out all the authors and approvers and allows the board assistant an opportunity to make any final last minute changes to the agenda. When the board assistant is ready, they then release the agenda. And at the moment that agenda is released, it's now available for the board members and others to see. And that agenda can also be published either to a PDF file or to your external website. Now, once that agenda has been released, it can now be taken into session and a similar structure to this will be seen by your board members. We would love to give you a full scale demonstration of how that meeting process and voting process works, as well as to dive into a lot more detail on exactly how the agenda preparation process is put together. But I hope that this has given you enough information to, to really get a sense for how simple Agenda Plus is to use and how easy it will be for your users to adapt and really start gaining the value of this great system. Right below this video on the website here is our best contact phone number as well as an email address. Reach out, get in touch with us. We will schedule a live online demo of the site and we will then uh, follow that up with an on-site demo uh, that fits your schedule. Again, my name is Mark Vickers. I'm the Product Director for Agenda Plus here at Agile Tech, and we look forward to talking with you and doing your live demo.